Ah, what makes a good history teacher? I think some some old-fashioned things, but also some new things. I think, first of all, a, um, a, a love and a passion for history, because if there's one thing that uh, students respond to, it's the teacher's passion. Uh, the teacher's passion, the teacher's expertise. So uh, someone who is a history teacher, I would think, is someone who, from a very early age, was fascinated by the past, was asking why and how it got to be like it is, and let's go back before and see. Um, I think also a history teacher in looking at the past and presenting the past is going to be a great storyteller, uh, someone who can uh, deliver a narrative and engage and make it interesting. So I, I think a, a good history teacher is someone who themselves is passionate about the past and, has, and is able to communicate that passion. But I think also a, a good history teacher is someone who believes in the benefit of history for their students. So, for example, we, we, we live in a community, um, how do we understand that community? Well, history allows us to, to have that shared understanding, uh, particularly when it's inclusive, when it includes all of our past and all of the, all of the characters who've, who've populated the past. I think also that a good history teacher will be very conscious of the practical benefits of history for a student. So, uh, we want to be literate, analytical thinkers, I think history is the best vehicle in the school curriculum for delivering that and for delivering it in such a way that it prepares a student for tertiary study, uh, for a range of professions, but also for a range of occupations. And I'm thinking of things like um, driving a bus in tourist areas and being the tourist guide with the history and so on, uh, as well as being the professor of history, as well as being a lawyer. Um, history is, is good for preparing students for all of those, all of those um, different careers. What lights my fire about history still, um, and it's happened from the age of 10 and still now, much older age, uh, the mystery, the mystery, the stories and the people. Um, I always loved uh, stories. Uh, and I like fiction, I like novels and so on, I like things that um, come onto the movies and so on. But there's an extra edge when the story is real about someone who existed or an event that actually happened. Uh, and there is this tension between the event that happened and how history can recover it, the extent to which it can recover it. And the element of mystery that's there, because whenever we investigate any aspect of the past, whether it's yesterday or thousands of years ago, there are aspects of it that we simply can't recover and the further back we go the, the more we can't recover. The mystery makes it interesting.